Hi Pisces, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to your monthly romance reading. Um, uh, sorry, I've lost my words here. Uh, never mind. Um, welcome to all my cyber angels and the new viewers. Uh, we do have some blocks sometimes. I'm only human. Uh, don't shoot the messenger as they say. Well, welcome back and I'm glad you're to see you back. Thank you very much for your support, my Cyber Angels. And if you would like to become a Cyber Angels, then new viewers, please join us in the live sessions. I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I uh, give away free cards and I also um, open to uh, donated questions. So qu if you've got a question then please do a donation either in the super chat or super sticker and if your country doesn't allow you to pay or do that in the live sessions then prepay before I go live I'll get a notification that there is money being donated. If you would like to have an extended reading, then please go below this video in the description box and there you can find all the information to get into contact and you can also see the website. Click on that and see what kind of readings are available or click on this little white dot in the corner and that will take you to the website as well. Um, uh, first of all, I would also like to say thank you very much. Uh, I'm really grateful for all the people that are keeping the economy going, like uh, young people filling shelves and old people filling shelves in the supermarkets and so that we can have our daily necessities and also not only to the uh, carers um, in the world, in the medical sector, but also the firemen, the policemen, everybody that keeps the economy going and giving us hope that there is change. Definitely there has been a shift since the 4th and the 5th Global Meditation Day in April and there is a positive shift. So let's hope that this uh, issue in the world that's happening now will be at an end pretty soon. According to the cards, it will be, and let and you can already see the changes. So let's get started with your reading, Pisces. At least there's a bit optimistic uh, news in the uh, in the in the news uh, programs now. And this is your reading, and your first card is "Let your friends help you." ask for or and accept support from others yes now this uh, this shift does make people realize that we need each other and we need nature it's like light and day we can't the one cannot do without the other so accept friends and accept their help don't shy away from help Many hands make light work. You know, sayings and cliches do come from situations like that. Then you have the Knight of Cups. You might get an offer. This could be of love. This could be of passion. Uh, or just caring, nurturing. As the cups stand for uh, love, passion, nurturing, caring and sexuality and sensuality. So you might be getting an offer from a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces and these people are sensitive and they are also very psychic mo usually or um, very intuitive. Uh, personally I love them and uh, of course you know that a knight means news or an offer. This could be an offer of passion or love because it's a romance reading and not a general reading. In the second week we've got heart to heart conversations. Perhaps you need to have a conversation with your other half. Um, if you're not hooked up then you need to have a, perhaps a conversation um, with a potential person and let them know that you love them or how you feel. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. 
you know uh, the other can't mind read that you fancy them so make it known things will become clear because you've got the king of swords and the king of swords is uh, prominently um, Gemini but because the queen is Libra and Aquarius is the page those are the cards that represent those zodiac signs but don't exclude Libra or Aquarius so the king stands for wisdom a wise man and he cuts straight through to the core to get honesty clarity and justice he knows the letter of the law he's not for nothing a king and he's not for nothing wise he's reached this status because he has learned and experienced uh, if you're not meeting up with an air sign then there could be somebody that has a Gemini uh, or Libra or Aquarius in their chart and they or it might be a person that advises you on what to do well I'm a Gemini perhaps I'm the king of swords and I'm giving you advice heart to heart conversations well do you understand what I mean now perhaps there might be a Gemini that will give you advice now I'm giving you advice let each other know how you feel so you can advance and develop the relationship if you're not hooked up then you can develop it to the next level make it known that you would like to go out with them and grow into a fully fledged relationship and see how it goes cut away the bull s okay the bs <laughs> cut away the rubbish be clear in your communication but watch out your intonation okay in the third week it says free yourself this is like to me like the merry-go-round horse um, you feel as if you're going around in circles perhaps to perhaps you are too much in your head or your partner is so take back it is time to take back control of your life cut the rubbish away like the king of swords then you will get happiness you've got the nine of cups your wish is coming true your goal is coming true it doesn't happen by itself you must communicate in order to make it happen you must take back control so it can happen your wish coming true there's an end of a phase and a new beginning Pisces talk 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 but when you talk listen well talk well okay don't talk uh, with no content you um, Gemini's I'm speaking for myself now I can speak a lot but I, I, I only show the back of my tongue as they say to the people I trust so take this little bit of advice when you take back control don't be harsh about it just say yes this is what I would like this is what I would like like I said heart to heart conversation let them know what your boundaries are know what their boundaries are know what their dreams and wishes are and let them know what your wish is and your dream if it is that you would like to hook up permanently or you are going out you want to get engaged or if you are engaged you want to get married or if you're married and you want to extend the family talk about it okay this is how a relationship can only grow by talking and living together and giving ev uh, each other equilibrium quality and equilibrity uh, equality and uh, what did I say uh, I forgot what I said now equilibrium equilibrium and uh, equilibrium is balance in the relationship everybody does their bit but you do it together 
like I always say, you have your own life, they have their own life, they're friends, you have your friends, and you've got a life together, and your friends uh, that are your friends together. That's how it works. This is what keeps the relationship fresh and exciting. In the fourth week, you have playfulness. Playfulness. Let your inner child come out. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, be more playful. Don't be too serious. Okay? And you've got the Knight of Swords. You've got a load of swords. You've got swords here. You've got swords here. And the overall energy is swords. But I'll come to that in a minute. The Knight of Swords means you had the Knight of Cups. So that's Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Now you've got Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You might be meeting them but you definitely might be getting messages from them but you will get news this news is swords it's air so that could come through text messaging email or telephone and something will become clear to you once you have the news okay now I said you had a lot of swords uh, Pisces in you so you've also got victory because the swords uh, ace of swords means victory and it also the, the swords stands for communication wisdom and clarity honesty so the truth will be told this week that is the truth will come out uh, either from their side or from your side so long you have a heart-to-heart conversation and so long you are honest you may expect an honest answer sometimes it's not very nice but at least you know where you stand and what you can do about it and look what we've got underneath the overall energy the nine of cups you've got a nine here the nine of cups and you've got the nine of pentacles your wish card so there are endings and new beginnings where there is a beginning there is also an ending so something might come to an end like the end could be that uh, the silence is broken okay and you know how to talk to each other you know how to m make things happen how to love extra or show love let your inner child come out absolutely beautiful Pisces, don't be scared of the Geminis. They, they aren't as uh, as uh, horrible as they sound because they've got swords. It is just a symbolic thing, okay? It has got a meaning behind it, but they are sharp. Uh, they're quick. That can sharpness means also quick. They're like lightning, but they are very sensitive people underneath the hard shell, like the king and the queen they have to be in control of their emotions in order to work to get clarity justice and the wisdom okay be assertive definitely be assertive i think you might see something extra that a lot of people will not see or cannot see because of your intuitiveness or your psyche so that is very useful because that will then things can become clear to you because you know which question to ask and that is also a form of assertiveness be assertive uh, like feel that your gemini or your libra or your aquarian um or uh, is sensitive and they're not cold and hard like metal okay and if it isn't a water sign or an air sign um, Pisces then I hope you can take something from this reading that resonates to you and it, it is a general reading uh, and it's also food for thought so if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign I hope to see you in the live uh, sessions
uh, again and uh, if you're new I would love to get acquainted with you and you'll be initiated as a cyber angel and you're more than welcome to join the cyber family in the tea room. Take care, stay safe and be blessed. Thank you for sharing and liking.